Okay, what we're going to work on now are the speed of light calculations. You're always given speed of light. You should know this value. It's 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And then this is going to be wavelength lambda. And then you've got nu here, which is this funny looking V, and this is a symbol for frequency. So this is the equation that you should know. Speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. And speed of light is always going to be the same. It's always going to be 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It doesn't matter where it is on the EM spectrum. If we're talking about radio waves, light waves, infrared, ultraviolet, uh, visible light, x-rays, gamma, it's all going to travel at the same speed. But the wavelength and their frequency are inversely proportional. So if this one goes up, this one's going to go down. But together, they're going to equal speed of light. If this one goes down, this one goes up. But together, they're going to equal the speed of light. They're always going to work together, so if you multiply them, you get 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Okay, so here we go. It says, what's the frequency, and uh, you have the wavelength. So when you're asked what's the frequency, you're going to first check to see what your wavelength is. Is it in meters? And the answer is yes. We'll do a problem in a minute that, that is not. So I want you to write out the equation, C equals wavelength times frequency. You always plug in your speed of light. 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters over second. Write it like that so you can see the units canceling out. Put your equal sign and then you have a wavelength which we are given. So we're going to plug in 5.90 times 10 to the negative seventh meters times and then our little symbol for frequency. Now this might look a little confusing because there's some weird numbers here. We got exponents, we got some weird units, uh, definitely weird symbols. So if this confuses you a little bit, just break it down and make it look like regular algebra. You've got a number over here on the left of the equal sign, so just put something you know. 10. Write the equal sign. Then you've got a number in this spot right here. Make it 2. And then you've got a variable in this spot. Make it x. Can you solve that? Yeah, absolutely. That's not, a, not difficult at all. You know that you're going to put 10 in your calculator first. Then you're going to hit divided by 2. And then 10 divided by 2 equals 5, 5x. Five now apply that same method. You knew that it was going to be 10 divided by 2, not the other way around. So this number right here is going to go in your calculator first. 3.0 EE8, or EXP8, uh, divided by, let's get this to cancel out. So that cancels, and then you're going to divide through this side by the same thing. And watch what happens to your units. Meters on here, meters down here, meters are gone. You do the math and you end up with 5.5 times 10 to the 14th and then we have to think about units. Now meters are gone but you're still left with a line and then seconds on the bottom. So that's how many waves go by in one second. You can even put a one there if you want. But that's how many waves go by in one second. That's a lot of waves. The other way you could write your units is you could put 5.5 times 10 to the 14th seconds negative one or s negative one. That tells you it's per second. Seconds go on the bottom. The other way you could write it is you could put per second. And the final way you could write it is hertz. H-E-R-T-Z. That means per second. Okay. So there's your final answer for this one. Any of these units would be fine as long as it indicates how many waves go by in one second. Next one. Now it says what's the frequency and you're given the wavelength. So you're going to use speed of light because you have frequency and wavelength. So speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Speed of light is always going to be the same. 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters per second equals. You don't know, or you do know the wavelength, but the wavelength is in nanometers. Now I have to put meters into this equation because this is in meters. So I got to do some behind the scenes work here. So let's start with 550 nanometers times put nanometers on the bottom to get rid of it, meters on top. I like using one meter is a lot of these little nanometers. And that ends up being, because I don't like to write out all those zeros, 1 times 10 to the positive ninth nanometers. So when I do my math, it comes out 5.50 oops, times 10 to the negative seventh meters. So that's my wavelength in meters. So therefore, I can plug that in right here and I know my meters are ultimately going to cancel with the speed of light meters and that'll leave me with units for frequency. 
So I'm back to this again. This is like saying I have 10 equals 2 times x. Put 10 in first, 10 divided by 2. 3.0 times 10 to the 8th divided by 5.50. You get the idea here, this cancels. And then you're going to divide over here. 5.50 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. Meters will cancel. You do the math, and then you're left with 5.1 times 10 to the 14th. And then think about units. You still have seconds on the bottom of that line. So that many times per second. You could write out that many times per second. You could write it that many times second negative 1. You could even write out that many times with a hertz next to it because that means per second. So any of these units would be fine. And there's your answer. Now what's a wavelength that has a frequency of? So now we're again, speed of light, wavelength times frequency, but now we're going to do the, or make the wavelength our variable. So it's going to be speed of light, what we know, 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters over second equals variable times 4.98 times 10 to the 14th. And you see seconds negative 1. When I'm doing the algebra out, I like to write the line and then second over here because I'm going to easily see the line and the seconds cancel out. Watch what happens here. Again, this looks kind of weird because we got exponents and weird units and stuff, but it's still like saying 10 equals x times 2. You can solve that. Plug this 10 in first, bring over the 2, divide it by 2, 10 divided by 2. So this goes in your calculator first, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, divided by 4.98, you get the idea, and over here we're going to divide by 4.98 times 10 to the 14th per second. And we'll just put S. Now when you're dividing a fraction, and we technically do have a fraction because it's meters over one second, and over here we have that many waves over one second. So when we're dividing a fraction by a fraction, we actually have to take the reciprocal. So the numbers are still going to do the same thing. They're going to cancel out. But the units, watch what happens to my units here. That fraction, that per second, ends up on top. So the seconds are going to cancel, which is good, because that leaves us with meters, which is what we want, because we're looking for wavelength. It's got to be in the meter family. So anyways, you do your math like normal. 3.0 times 10 to the 8th divided by 4.98 times 10 to the 14th. And you get 6.0 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. And it's fine, it doesn't ask you, give it to, to me in nanometers, so just uh, express your answer in meters and you're all set. Length should be in the meter family. So there's that problem. And the last one, a couple things here. You are given the wavelength, or you have to solve for the wavelength and you're given the frequency. Frequency is in hertz and you have to express your answer in nanometers. So, first thing you do is write the equation. Speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Speed of light's always the same, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Wavelength is an unknown, we don't know what it is, so let's leave it as a variable. And frequency is 5.4 times 10 to the 14th hertz, which is otherwise known as per second. Now I'm going to switch hertz to per second because speed of light is per second, and I can easily see that they cancel out. So I'm back to where I was before. 10 equals x times 2. Put the 10 in first, bring over the 2. They cancel. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Over here, I'm going to plug, plug this in 3.0 times 10 to the 8th, divided by this 5.4. They're going to cancel. And over here, 5.4 times 10 to the 14th per second. My numbers will cancel. My units are going to flip flop. I'm going to have the reciprocal. They're going to cancel, and I'm left with meters. Now, when I get my answer on the calculator, it's 5.6 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. That's correct. Mathematically, that's correct. But the answer wants it expressed in nanometers. So you have to go one more step. Meters on the bottom, nanometers on top, because we want to cancel out meters. One big meter is equal to a lot of these little nanometers. 1 times 10 to the, neg or to the ninth, positive ninth nanometers. So final answer is going to be... 560 nanometers.